Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series with me AnubhavTrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning hybrid database scenario with SAP Business Application Studio BTP CAP application. We have built by far a simple CAP application. We have created a connection to a local SQLite database. Then we have installed our PostgreSQL in the local machine and connected to the PostgreSQL database. And the step number three, now we are at a state where we would want to connect our BTP application or our CAP application to a database inside BTP. So in SAP Business Technology Platform, we can create backing services and we can bind our application to these backing services. So what happens is at runtime, our application will run in the cloud with the cloud database itself. So what is the concept behind that is basically in SAP BTP Cloud Foundry environment, we have something called a cell. Now a cell have something called a garden and inside the garden we have containers. A container is basically the runtime environment for our application for a micro service. Now let's say you would want to build an application and one of the container required Node.js runtime. So SAP BTP cell will start a Node.js container in which our application of Node.js is going to execute. And this application would now need a database. So in BTP itself, we have something called let's say PostgreSQL service, which is going to be created by us and our application will then connect to this PostgreSQL service. So this arrow what you see is called binding. So we need to bind our PostgreSQL uh, database service to our application. So in order to run this whole application, this whole setup, what we need is basically first step is a instance of the backing service of type PostgreSQL DB. This is the step number one. And once it is created, we need to create a service key for this instance, which is created so that we can access this PostgreSQL service instance to talk to our database. The third step is we need to perform the binding. We need to bind our application so that it can run with the PostgreSQL database. These are the three steps you need to carry out as a developer. Now there are two aspects when we do the binding. One is the design time where you are building the application in your local computer using VS code. So currently we were using a local VS local database in our local machine and we connected to our local database. So that is during design time. So we would want to connect our application which a developer is building in the VS code tool. So here you are a developer and you're building this app. You would want to remotely connect to this PostgreSQL database service so that you can test your app locally. And once testing is done, ultimately you will deploy your app at runtime where this application is going to run in Cloud Foundry environment inside a container and bind it with the PostgreSQL database. So that is the runtime part. So I will be showing in current episode how to create a Postgre service instance, how to create a service key to connect to it and how to do binding at design time so that as a developer you can bind to Postgre SQL service instance your cap application which is running on BAS uh, or VS code tool. The steps for doing these things in the BAS tool is also same. Now in the next episode then I will show you how do you make sure that when you deploy your application it will automatically find the backing service instance and get connected to it when your application is running as a cloud application. Yes. So this is the next step we will see in the, in the next video, but current video focus on this particular step. So let us get started in the live system and experience our entire system or our entire application running with remote PostgreSQL database. Lot of boring math later. So now I have logged in to my VS code environment. This is where we have our application which we are building. 
kindly check the description of the video to also find the source code of this application so that you can download that and you will also be able to utilize the same in your company system or for your reference and development so first of all we need to log into our btp account i'll also show you my btp account i'm using the btp trial account right now so this is our sap btp account which i have it here up and running and in this btp account if i go to my instances and subscriptions i will not see right now any postgre sql service yeah so you can create the postgre sql database service here by clicking on create button and choosing the service name and you see service name is postgres sql dash db and then you can choose the plan which is the trial plan in the btp trial account and you can give the instance name this is one way of creating your backing service instance and then you can create the key so this way you can create it but i don't want to use this way because this is kind of a time cumbersome way for a developer to go to the cockpit and do all that stuff of course you can follow that approach but i would love to work with command prompt and command line interface so we have sap cloud foundry cli command line interface which we can use to do this activity so i will first of all go back to my vs code environment and do cf login and connect to my btp account so i will then enter my user id and password for btp account to connect to my btp account first so i'm connecting with my email id and i will authenticate myself okay i need to correct password and that's it now we have connected to the dev space which means the instance of the backing service will be created inside the dev space itself and you can see all the list of cloud foundry commands by doing cf dash dash help you will find the list of all the commands which the cloud foundry cli offers yes you can also say cf space help dash a for all the list of commands so the most important one here is to now create a service instance you see create service let's do that so cf create service i will be also putting these commands in the description of this video so it will be easy for you to do so that service instance name is uh, service instance will be for the postgresql database so postgresql db and the plan which i will be using is a trial plan and name of my instance will be anubhav sql i press enter now it is going to create a postgresql database service backing service instance in my btp account you can see the instance creation is in progress so we can just go see of services to find the status if it is created or not or we can also check the status uh, by the service name so we can say cf service and anubhav sql that's my instance name of my backing service which is going to run in the cloud so it is now contacting and getting the detail and you can see service is not currently shared and showing the status of this service the create is in progress so we need to just wait for few more minutes until the service instance gets created you can in the meanwhile also manually go back to your account refresh the page and check the status if a service anubhav sql is getting created or not in the btp account so let's see that yes you can see it is getting created two thousand years later okay so the service instance have been created now and our next step will be to create a service key so you go to the btp cockpit you can see the instance is ready anubhav sql there you go and right now we don't have any service key so next step is to create a service key once again you can use it from the cockpit to create a service key directly or you can go back to as usual the command prompt and call the command for cloud foundry to create service key so cloud foundry create service key what's my service instance name it's anubhav sql and let me create a anu dash sk service key so that will be the name of my service key and it uh, hardly takes few seconds to do that and once you come back and switch over and refresh your uh, btp cockpit you are going to see 
your instance over there on the UI in a second. And there you go. You can see the service key. And if you view the service key, you get the credentials for connecting to database. Now, in order to connect the database from the local computer from here, you can directly copy the service key from here, copy JSON and paste it into um, into VS Code inside your project. But we don't like to do anything manual. We would like to go with the, um, with everything automated. So that's where the binding comes into picture. And as I told you, the third step will be binding. And right now this will be a design time binding because a developer is building an application in VS Code in their local machine. And in order to connect to the service instance, which is remote service instance, you need to then do the binding. And I will also show you what the binding does behind the scene. So it will be creating a special file over here. Uh, the file name will start from dot. Yeah, dot indicates hidden file. Yeah, so it will create a uh, similar to the CDSRC JSON, a CDS uh, file will get created, which will contain that exact service key, which I was showing you. So let me do that CDS bind to my service instance name Anubav SQL colon my service key Anu SK enter. And now it's CDS engine is contacting the BTP and it's pulling the service key from there and it is going to do the binding. And in few seconds, you will see the file get created here, which will then store this service key. It will never be committed to the Git because that's that's a sensitive data. And you see CDS RC private JSON uh, got created remote connection RC stands for remote connection file and it has got uh, now a profile called hybrid yes and that contains my binding with the cloud foundry database using the service key and that's pretty cool and next step will be to run and you can see also it is telling you to start your cap application running with the remote database with this profile so you could do this uh, you say CDS watch dash dash profile and I can say hybrid and that's it congratulations uh, the system is going to now connect to the remote database in SAP BTP so it is going to resolve the the binding uh, with the with the cloud database and it will start my application with the connection to the remote database which is in the BTP that is itself a, um, a confirmation that we are connecting to a remote database and all the data will be written now in the BDP database. So though you are running application in your local machine, but all the data uh, update or data changes or data retrieval will happen to the uh, from the cloud database in, in, in the cloud. Yeah, so that's what will happen. So you can just um, launch your application now. Uh, and there you go. And I go to my Fury app as usual. And we can see, wow, all the data coming uh, for the list of billionaires. Uh, right away from the cloud. So this is how exactly you can create or uh, generate the profile for connecting to the remote database and uh, perform all the curd queue operations eventually uh, on top of it. Yes, so that's that's pretty cool. All right, thank you so much once again for joining this episode with me on anubotrainings.com. For in more interesting videos like this, please like, share and subscribe this channel. Kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for free content like this in the future. Please do share this channel in the WhatsApp group or over the email with your colleagues so they can also take advantage of this free content with anubavtrainings.com. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Anubav signing out. Have a nice day and goodbye.